What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. This is Invest 97L. It is just developed off the coast of Africa. And this is the system we're going to be watching over the next few days because if you take a look at the NHC right here, it current now has a 20% chance of developing in the next 48 hours, still a 40% chance in the next five days. Still something we're going to have to watch. It'll depend on how quickly it organizes and all of that. So this is as of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the far eastern tropical Atlantic, south of the Cabo Verde Islands, is associated with the tropical wave. Environmental conditions appear generally conducive for gradual development of the system while it moves westward to west-northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour across the eastern central tropical Atlantic. And a tropical depression could form around the middle to latter part of this week. Formation chance in the next five days is 20%. Sorry, sorry, next five days is 40%. Formation chance in the next four, uh, 48 hours is 20%. So that's the situation we're taking a look at. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the global sea temperatures and the, the wind shear. The global sea temperatures in the western Atlantic, they're very, war very warm, very conducive for, uh, for development. The wind shear, at least in this part of the tropics, is not so uh, not so hot. This thing could tear it apart, but if it moves, if it moves through... The wind, uh, the wind shear and moves into this area, which is the what, what we're looking at for some of the models. We'll get to that in a second. It'll have a much easier time developing, and we're going to show you what we're talking about in just a second. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS. This is the latest one uh, we have right here, and I want to show you this because this is a very interesting run because this thing now takes it and... If it eventually makes land, it uh, doesn't make quite, I'm not sure if it makes landfall, but, or, or if it stays quite offshore, but this thing, this latest run now takes it up the east coast of the United States, and I'll show you what's going to happen right here. Now, let's go ahead and start this, uh, this thing. As you can see, this is the wave that's associated with it. It starts to organize, starts to develop, starts strengthening, and then it starts to uh, weaken a little bit due to that wind shear tearing, is starting to tear at it, and then as time goes on, it'll continue to move through, and once it exits that wind shear, it'll start to redevelop and reorganize. And this is the part right here where we get to uh, to another part uh, to this right here. This is uh, basically uh, a kind of a more zoomed in format, and this is the 850 millibar winds, so we can have a better idea of what's going on with this. And if we cross check this with the wind shear right here, it's it's in that good it's in that low wind shear. If we cross check that in the water. Plenty of warm water, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is around 84, 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you in the United States. So this is an interesting situation we're taking a look at right here. So like I said, this thing moves up uh, towards and then up the East Coast. It moves towards North Carolina, either making, either, like probably staying just offshore of the Outer Banks right here. And then it's, as it basically reaches its max peak in, off the coast of North Carolina, if we cross-check it with these global sea temperatures, it's in that, it's in that loop current right there. So this is, the, the, this is where we are right here, and this is the wind shear. The wind shear, uh, if we take a look at now, it starts tearing, at, tearing it apart, but right now is right now. So I want everyone to keep that in mind. And now we'll go ahead and move back with this. This is an interesting f a situation we're developing. This thing now moves off the coast of Virginia, and then a, a potential landfall in Massachusetts could occur, uh, like kind of on the eastern tip of Massachusetts. A potential landfall could occur. But then again, this is a little while out, so things are very subject to change. And this, th after, but after this, this thing continues to move on. It potentially makes a, a, a landfall or close br brush over to, uh, to Nova Scotia right here, and then it moves off. Now, I wanna make a very quick disclaimer right here. This is two weeks out, and things are very subject to change right here. That being said, with this mall run now coming out, now is the perfect time to pr start uh, putting together your hurricane preparedness plan. And I'll continue to update you guys as the situation develops. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. It helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Now, before I go, I just want to say don't start a massive panic that this thing uh, that, uh, that about this, all right? Don't start a massive panic about it. Just understand that this is a couple of weeks out in this one model run. 
I'm going to continue to monitor the situation, but everyone needs to start being prepared. With that being said, have a wonderful day and stay safe.